Hi, I'm Jim Suddy, and I'm an instructor at Cog Hill Golf and Country Club. And today I'm going to talk about probably the most important fundamental in golf, and the least misunderstood, is the grip. The grip. How you hold the club. I have a short little club here showing you how the grip influences the face, first of all. And so uh, there's three type, basic three types of grips. You have a strong grip. Uh, that would be a grip that's turned over to your right a little bit, like this. You have a weaker grip where it's more this way and then this grip. So you're strong, turn to the right, neutral, a little bit more to the left, and weak, more, even more to the left. Now most people, first of all, will hold the club too much in the palm of their hand. The first thing I'm going to do is talk about where to hold it in the left hand. I have a red, line, uh, a red magic marker here and where you want to hold the club in your left hand. And I'll put an X right here showing you not to hold it there. This is where people generally hold it, up in the palm of their hand. As a result, they cannot get wrist action or wrist activity. You should hold it down here where you have it. Not way down the fingertips, but in between the left joint and right here. So when you do hold it, your hand goes on top of the club. And I'm going to draw one more line here. They talk about these V's in golf. These V's are going to the right shoulder. This is a standard grip that I like to see most people use. When I put the left hand on there with this short little club, you can see where that is in relation to my body right there. The V is going, to, or the arrow is going to my right shoulder. It's not going to the chin, it's not going to the left shoulder. The neutral grip will go more to the chin and the weak grip will go this way. Now what's important about this, this is a, a grip that most amateurs should have. You can see in the fingers, and with the thumb down the right side of the shaft. And now the only thing I have to do now is make sure I hold it tight enough. And if we had a grip pressure of one to 10, three, three would be about correct. Not, not real tight, not real light. About number three is about the right one. Now that's the left hand grip. The left is the lead hand and controls the face to a large degree. The left hand controls the face. That's why we have a short little club here to show you how the hands control the face. Now most times in my teaching I see the left hand there and in the palm and from there it doesn't matter how good your swing is you're not going to have a good day. So get that thumb over to the right side of the shaft and it's behind the shaft. You have something that you can swivel when you hit. Now right hand grip, okay we'll, we'll look at the right hand in this respect. This one we hold more in the fingers of the right hand a little more down in the fingers than the left hand. And I'm also going to put this red line on the lifeline of the right hand. Right there, as you can see. Now you can see that. Those are the lines. Now, and then I'm also going to draw a couple lines right here. These right here. This will kind of show how this arrow is lined up. And then when I put these on, let me kind of show you first how the hand looks. And I put the left hand on. And I put now the right hand on. And there we are right there. See, both the arrows are pointing in the same direction. As you can see right there, you have the arrows pointing in the same direction. I have it basically in the fingers of the right hand. One thing I haven't talked about is where this index finger is of the right hand. You can see the index finger of the right hand. There's a little gap right there. That's called your trigger finger. You must have that. You don't want to hold it in the palm of your right hand like that. You want to hold it in the fingers. So now again, the right hand provides the power. The left hand is the lead or the uh, guidance. But the right hand will allow you to turn the club over at the bottom. Just to demonstrate somewhat the, the, how important the grip is, I'm going to bring David in and he's going to show you how the face angle. This is David. David has a tennis racket in his hand right here and we he's going to take the grip, left hand and the right hand. And the best way to get your grip, if you're watching me here, is if you put your right hand out at the club at a 45 degree angle and then take your grip like this, you're pretty much going to get it right. And then bring your hands down like that. 
Now, as you can see, David's hands right here, they're just exactly as I showed you right there. Same thing. Now, if, he, if I weakened his grip or turned it to the left, and now you're gonna, you're gonna uh, bring more forearm rotation into his golf swing. So when he went back, he would open the face, and sometimes he wouldn't get it closed in time, he might hit a slice. That's what most amateurs do. Uh, or if you get even a weaker grip, turn more to the left, that's very weak, and we see some of that too. And David, kind of show him what the face of the club does when you take it back. He rotates open, and then he has to rotate it closed, so he can't possibly use his body very well. He has to use his hands and arms. So, and then the neutral grip, it's in the fingers, okay? And that would have given him the best chance of squaring the face. If he took his right hand off the club, you can see the right thumb behind the shaft right there. Okay, thank you, David. I appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna uh, show you a little bit about uh, the three types of grips. Even We talked about a weak grip where the hands are turned to the left a little bit, both hands, neutral and strong. This is weak, which I wouldn't recommend anybody having. Neutral, some people can have. Stronger, most people should have. Now there's three, there's three placements of the hand as well. There's overlapping, which is a, uh, overlap your little finger on top of your uh, index finger of your left hand and then put the fingers on the shaft like that. That's overlapping, that's a Varden overlapping. That's about 80% of the pros use that grip. Interlocking is one Tiger uses, Jack Nicklaus, where you interlock these two fingers like that, and that would be one that's uh, becoming more popular, but don't, I really don't like that grip as well because it tends to get it too much in the palm for the average guy. And then you have a uh, kind of full fingered grip, and you'd use that for if you have small hands, you're a lady, you're a junior, uh, and that's for somebody that doesn't have a lot of strength. But uh, in any respect, the hands, as you can see, as a complete grip is together. If I have a foot, the hands are very close together. They're not far apart because they must work together, as you can see. That left thumb is right on top of that lifeline of the right hand, just like that. Now, good drill to see if you got the right grip is you take the club, put it at a 45 degree angle like that. You hold it and you hold it with the index finger and the back of underneath the heel pad of the left hand. If you can do that, your left hand grip is pretty good. That tells you, you once you, if you can't do that and it's going like this and you're losing it, then you're, you're not holding it correctly. So that's a good test for your left hand grip and then just slide your right hand up like that. And then that gives you maximum freedom of motion in your hands so you can square the blade. As I said before, a good grip allows you to have a good swing.